our seventh and final matchup of the evening. So, starting on the blue side for our next bout, it's the First Blood King looking for just one kill today. It's Yekos! And then on the red side is the player who's looking to claim the top spot this year. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. It's Perry! There can only be one winner, gentlemen. Let it be you. <laughs> I just love Prey. I love how he's just this bundle of energy. And like, honestly, just watching him, he's so happy all the time. He was a huge force in how the Tigers just had a positive environment. Yeah, and even when you see him backstage, he's like always smiling, always just like it's in infectious. a good mood. Ironically, Yankos is quite similar in the sense that he's always up for a joke. He's <laughs> always ready for some banter. Uh, really fun if you get to know him as well. He is quite nervous for this matchup though. He lost a lot in practice. Uh, Mithy even declared on the analyst test that um, he beat Yankos several times. And then going up against Prey is going to be tough. I mean, as a jungler, it's not really in your favor to try and win a CS war, a push war, understanding wave manipulation. I mean, these are all concepts that these guys understand. Like, yes. Like, we're enjoying them, and these, these, these guys understand it on a much deeper level than probably both of us combined. But at the same time, it is the trick is in applying that knowledge while somebody else is playing against you with that knowledge as well, and CSing at the same time. And it's always, if somebody knows like a, one small adaptation or one trick where they do something to a minion that's different, they pull it maybe a little bit further down the lane, how does that affect it? You have to know all the contingencies too. Mm -hmm. Definitely, so two jungle bands here, and then a little Blanc, basically like kind of the point and click champions that are pretty executable are being banned away. There is still Pantheon, if you're Yankos. Probably don't want to hover too early because there is a giant screen right next to him. <laughs> I like how he has Ghost, Exhaust, maybe he was playing some Olaf. Yeah, he probably was ready for... Uh, Might be an Asus that comes through as well. So there is... I uh, think so. If you look into Yankus' match history, there is one, a lot of defeats on the tournament realm. <laughs> and uh, Olaf, Rengar, and Yasuo games. So that's what he's been practicing. Looking at Prey. I mean, the Praven, he's going to hover it. He's known, gonna hover it. known for not being a very good Praven. He just locked <laughs> that in. He just locked Lucian that, in already. That he's is. telling Yankos you can react. Pick a champion. Oh, that's bold. I like it. Well, he didn't look, but it might be that last one. Boom. Uh, Hovering the Yasuo. What a tease. Okay, so he's going to play the champion that Prey's teammate <laughs> played. He might have a little bit of an idea of what's going to happen here. I mean, he saw uh, Reckless um, win that matchup on the Lucian earlier as well. On the uh, Ezreal, right? On Ezreal, right? Yeah. yeah, we saw. That's true. We've seen Lucians there as well in, in that matchup. It's just all about staying away from the Darius. That's literally your one prerogative. Just stay away from him, play the CS game, don't get all in. That's the thing. You have to have patience. Play the CS game. You're not going to kill the Darius unless he really messes up. But he's just trying to kill you. If he gets five stacks, all that extra combat stat comes in and extra gold in his pocket in terms of how much that's worth becomes way too much for you to compensate for. Yeah, definitely so. It's all about... I mean, the same topics keep getting brought up as we're playing one once yeah. the map changes. It's again brush control. This, this Darius wants to hide there early, then swing the wave into a push, hopefully, to you, so you can maybe contest the Relic and stay away from Taurus. Yeah, but Lucian has a little bit more shove than Ezreal does, so mm -hmm. he has the option of actually keeping Darius underneath the turret a little bit easier. Yeah, the, the beauty about Lucian is that you can harass with Q through waves, and again, spells do not draw aggro. We have to keep reiterating that, which means that Lucian Qs, you can fire them from pretty close by, but you'll never get the minion aggro that way. This is the matchup that we were waiting for, the final one of the day. There's a little bit of trash talk behind it. Prey said that he was going to give Yankos a taste of his own medicine. Get first uh, blood on him. I think Yankos has the wrong wounds. Uh, does he have? Are you in game? No, right? Nope. OK, Yankos has. Not touching on, these 1v1s. <laughs> on, the, on the room page he has selected right now on the tournament the realm, has he has 26 ability power. Yeah. Uh, he might be playing AP Darius. Going to reload it. OK, okay he okay, changed. Okay, OK, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. He's running armor AD, flat cooldown reduction, and attack speed. He's basically running the Darius 1v1 page that we've seen. And Prey, uh, pretty standard page as well. Just taunting. 
Kunarasi oh. Repre yep. Got gets the first quick, which gives you control of the wave, and then you can decide if you want to go start trading on the enemy champion or not. And obviously, he does that by queuing through his feet on Yankos. Yep, got the double damage too. Got it onto Yankos and the minion. Is it what exactly what you want? Q through yep. this. Yeah, you're on the range creeps, which is good. Sidesteps the Yankos harass uh, previous to that as well. So, great. Playing really controlled so far. Yeah, I actually like this pick a lot more into the Darius than the Ezreal. Mobile, low cooldown on the mobility. So, even if he does EU in and it messes up your dash, you may have the possibility of getting it back up. The problem is your He's quite so short range. Uh, compared to the Ezreal, you can't really Q harass. I mean, you can Q nah. harass, but if you want to follow up on it, you're pretty bound to get minion aggro. That's why Prey whew, goes in a bit too far. Tuh. Speaking of short ugly. range, if he gets dragged right there at the edge, like he takes two turn shots. Yeah, we already saw what happens when you get E'd underneath, but Yankos doesn't have that just yet. All right, has Yankos played enough matches nope. that he can see us? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this is, this hurts. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Yankos. Uh, uh, this is where you need to keep an eye on the player camps. As us well. junglers. Look at the tilt. It's coming. Nice sidestep from Prey. Nope. Answers with a double shot. Q. Yankos has missed so much, and Prey is just trying to get. At this point, it's a, it's an experience game for Yankos. He needs to get to six. Get a good Ghost point. already. Ghost. That's Prey being hooked. Cannon creep and two range creeps. Yeah. He's going to try to beat him to the relic, but nope. Try to use the extra combat stats. Might get the Q up again and an auto. Oh! Did he? I'm not sure if he actually cancelled the non-attack right there, or if he could have played that any better. That was surprisingly close, though. This champion yeah. had a lot of chase potential. I think farther down the line, we may see more Darius come up right there. But that was <laughs> at least as close, I think, as Yankos would have wished if he was chosen to lose. Yep. Looks like the king has fallen for today. And Prey picks up the first blood, and it was the first blood. Didn't go.